Hey everyone, it's Dr. Glenn Bo here, and uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I want to kind of talk to you guys about how I felt um, when I had my first child. Um, you know, I have two kids, uh, eight-year-old daughter, Kylie, and a five-year-old son, Jackson. And I remember, uh, you know, being in the hospital, waiting for my daughter and my son to be born, how nervous I was, right? I was thinking about, I was like, oh man, you know, what I'm going to do and am I going to be a good dad and all these things, right? And for those of us who have kids, right, you guys remember that time when you're in the hospital and you're, you're just anticipating everything. And then when you're when your son or your daughter comes and the first time you lay your eyes on them, the first time you hold them, it is such a life-changing experience, right? It's an experience that you'll never forget. I want you to think about that for one moment. Just think about how you felt at that time, you know, when you, uh, you, when you held your child for the first time. Now imagine if the day before you got a diagnosis of cancer. Imagine how you would feel. You know, Jason, Dr. Jason Hui, um, that's what happened to him. The day before his first child was born, he got a diagnosis of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. It's a blood cancer. And he got that right before he you know, he knew he was going to be a dad, but right before that, such an, that awesome event, right? That awesome experience that we all, that we've all experienced, or many of us have experienced, he got a cancer diagnosis. And after his son was born, he had to start undergoing chemotherapy. And I think um, his son is 20, 20 days old now, I believe, maybe 20, 25, less than a month less than a month he's now fighting for his life you know fighting this cancer so you know with us at nifty thrifty dentists um we are all about just changing the way things are done in dentistry whether it is saving money or whatnot or coming together coming together and helping um coming together and helping each other out we've we've done it for the the spirit of giving. And when I found out what happened with Jason, I reached out to him and said, look, I'm going to do whatever I can to help you out, man. Because number one, first of all, it's hard to have a newborn at home and not being able to take care of them because you're too tired, right? Can you imagine that? Can you imagine what his wife is going through right now? And so I told him, look, dude, we are going to help you out. And you know, Jason, he's for those who know who he is, he's the type of person who he's the type of person who helps other people. He's the type of person who doesn't want to bother anybody, right? And that's what he said to me. He's like, I don't want to bother anybody. Um, you know, there's other people who need help. And I said, No, man, you need help, especially with your son being 20 some odd days old. You need to be there for your son. You need to be there for your family. And so reluctantly, he said, okay, um, go ahead and handle everything. And, um, you know, he gave me his blessing. So here we are, guys. Here we are. Okay, let's come together. Let's help him out. I created a GoFundMe page. Um, every little bit counts. And, and the goal is this, okay? The goal is to help him as much as, as, much as we can take as many things off his plate as possible so that his sole focus is kicking this cancer's butt, right? That's the only focus we want for him. We want him to beat this cancer. We don't want him to worry about money. We don't want him to worry about his practice. We don't want to wor him to worry about anything else except beating this cancer and being an awesome dad to his son and being an awesome husband to his wife. So a few people already stepped up. Because when I talked to Jason, I said, hey, Jason, um, you know, I asked him, I, I went into my nifty thrifty mode. I was like, OK, where are you getting your supplies from? Where uh, what which recurring expenses do you have? 
what can I do? Let me work my resources. Let me do everything I can so that I can help uh, keep your practice afloat. Because here's the thing, guys. Jason is a practice owner, too. Right now, he has, uh, luckily, his um, brother is a dentist. And his brother is covering for his, his own practice, covering Jason's practice as well. And, you know, things, life still goes on whether you are sick or not. And so I want to do everything I can to help him keep his practice afloat, help him manage these expenses. And so um, I want to give a few shout outs. They actually told me not to, um, but I said I'm going to because um, what they did really touched my heart. Um, so Kettenbach, uh, when I told them about it, they stood, they, 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 they said, yes, we are going to help them out. What can we do? And I said, you know, I'm going to, you know, the the sales manager, I was going to give him a shout. He says, please don't do that. This is what, what, what our company is about. And they donated a good amount of supply so that Jason does not have to buy that. Okay. Impression material, build up, core build up material, temporary material. Kettenbach stepped up. Thank you so much, Kettenbach. Thank you so much. Um Gina Dorfman and Yappy. Jason uses Yappy. Jason uses Yappy in his practice. I told Gina. Gina says, of course. Absolutely. He's been such a great client. And, th and they are donating credit to his service so that he doesn't have to worry about that while he's sick. Legwork. Jason uses legwork too. Corey K stepped up as well. He says, I'm going to help him out. It's been a pleasure working for him. And we want to make sure he kicks that cancer's butt. And Mango Voice, guys, you guys all know about Mango Voice, right? They're doing the same thing. They're stepping up. So, Jason, I know you didn't want to come on because um, Jason didn't want to come. He was like, guys, I don't, I don't have any hair. I don't want to come on. I was like, dude, no one cares, man. Uh, but he was like, you know what? I just, I just feel awkward. So, um, but Jason, if you're watching right now, um, people do care about you, man. Leg work, yappy, mango voice. They're stepping up, man. They're, they're, they're going to help you out while you're sick. Kettenbach. Um, I know you haven't used their products, but you told me what you use, right? And I'm not going to throw any other company under the bus. But I'll tell you what, Kettenbach stuff is way better and you're going to become a fan. And they stepped up. You know, I made a little donation um, on the uh, his GoFundMe page as well. So for those who have, um, for the vendors that are listening, right? I don't know that maybe you can donate something. A anything counts, guys. If any kind of monetary donation as well, for those consultants, for those CE speakers, maybe you can donate. Um, you know your services, maybe we can create an event or something in um, in honor of Jason. But, you know, the thing with, with dentists and dental professionals, you know, we do come together. A lot of times, you know, we see on social media and sometimes we just feel like, oh, you know, we're always kind of fighting each other and, and uh, attacking each other. But you know what? We all do care about each other. And with the spirit of giving, you saw that, that we came together. And for Jason here, I know that if it was anybody else, he would be stepping up as well. So I'm asking all of you guys to step up here. Um, the GoFundMe campaign, please click on that. Uh, what anything counts um, for vendors and speakers and consultants and whatnot. Please reach out to me. You know, if you want to help, please type in the comments section that you want to help, and uh, we'll figure something out. We're going to do something so awesome for Jason so that all he has to do is worry about getting better. Let's let's make his life easier so he can worry about getting better, so he can be there for his son, so he can be there for his wife, be there for his family. So thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Um, like I said, type in the comments section. Um, if you want to help, you know, type in the comments section. I'll reach out to you guys, and I will uh, figure out um, – figure out a way we can do something. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Let's, let's really, let's show Jason that we all care, but let's show our industry 
that um, when 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 someone is in need, we're willing to step up. We're willing to help help our own. So thank you so much for watching, guys.